watching on SABC3 Trending Essay and we're on TrendingEssay.tv. Joining us tonight is musician Berita. Woo! So stick around for uh, a riveting conversation and maybe, just maybe, we can ask her to sing a little something for Ooh, us live on television. Good to have you here. It's so good to be here, I guess. It's fabulous. Buzz <laughs> is not the youngest anymore. Aww. <laughs> yes. um, AJ, listen, you've written this amazing book, Be yeah. Cool, Be You, a teenage <laughs> guide, or Be You, Be Cool, um, the ultimate teenage guide. Mm -hmm. Tell us, like, what was going on in your life that you felt that you needed to inspire your peers? Well, I looked around um, in my school where I play sports, um, and I saw teenagers suffering from problems that could be easily avoided, like situations that could, you know, that are so unnecessary. And I feel like that was one of my motivations to write this book because I feel like I've learned a lot of stuff over the years and I've read a lot of books and I've um, been, I met a lot of successful people. At some point I met the first lady of South Africa and um, I feel like it'll be selfish to hold, um, all the knowledge I've gained so far to myself. So I tried my best to outpour everything that I had inside this book. And I hope someone actually benefits from it. <laughs> I'm sure they will. So, yeah. I mean, so this, this is supposed to be a guide for teenagers, yeah. right? Um, yeah. Talk to us about some of the themes that you cover in the book. Well, my book is really deep. It goes through a lot of things, not only for teenagers, but it is the teenage guide. Um, it goes to topics like depression, uh, because when you're a teenager, you have these problems. Mm. And if you don't fix these problems right then and there, they tend to grow. Like for instance, if you're scared to go in front of people, uh, well, you'd be afraid to go in front of uh, the office to go and present something. Right. So I feel like once I hit these issues head on, uh, I could destroy it then at a young age. But it's, it's amazing, it's amazing, this book. It's a fun read, I'm so I, excited. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I love, love, it. I love <laughs> that you. you, first of all, have such insight into yourself, it seems. So I'm curious to know how you got all of those ideas onto paper, your actual process. Um, you know, did you have assistance and, and the editing process of getting your book put together? Oh, wow. Well, it was a, a really big headache, like for so long. <laughs> I had to fight, I had like a whole team of researchers. Oh, wow. And I think I got about 800 teenagers from all over South Africa. Um, you know, friends became, friends told other friends and other friends told other friends and it just started growing out of nowhere. And I also have a group of psychologists, oh. parents, teachers, young adults that uh, put so much information and told me so many things that, could, that I added in the book. So it's basically a book for teenagers made by teenagers and everyone else, I guess. Yeah, and some experts. So, <laughs> Beautiful, so, good for you. Yeah. Beautiful, Lina. Tell us about the amazing role model that you have, the pastor, your dad. Tell <laughs> us the impact that he's had in your life and also this book, writing this book. Well, my dad is a hard worker, first of all. My dad is always working, always pushing himself to the limit, always gain, gaining goals and then gaining more goals and new goals. And I feel like that rubbed off on me, especially uh, when it comes to pushing myself to the limit. I always have a new goal for myself. I always have to beat how I was yesterday. Sure. And <laughs> it's something amazing. Um, also, the love of God that he has, mm. it rubbed off on me. Be careful, it's contagious, though. Wow. Wow. Give it to us. Wow. Yes. Wow. Give it to but let, let's pause there for a second, because you do have a chapter entitled uh, Introduction to God. Yeah. So why do you think it's so important at such a young age to have an encounter um, with God? Well, I believe that once you encounter God, there's no going back. Mm. Everything about you changes. Every aspect of you, joy just overflows your soul and love and peace just comes out and it just radiates. So like once you get to know God, there you just get this hunger, this deep thirst. And um, that's something amazing that I experience day yeah. after day, Whoa. I think, I think. Well, yeah. as, as the author, I'm sure you've got a, a favorite section from the book. Do you yeah. maybe want to just read that out for us, maybe? Actually, I do, yeah. yeah? Uh, this section talks about the love of God, and here it is. So think of it this way. In a wrestling match, if your opponent manages to get you down on the mat until the referee counts to three, you're out. If God were the referee, he would keep on counting past three until you get up again and you continue the match. God will never count you out. Whoa. <laughs>
That deserves. Thank you. It's so good. Thank That's you. such an important message. Mm. And you know, it's not just for teens. Mm -mm. I think once we become yeah. adults as well, you know, you start thinking, oh, you know, I'm past my 20s, I can't do this. I'm past my 30s, I can't do this. But that's, that's the message. Where can we get your book? Um, well, you can find my book on my, store, on my website, uh, ajlacow.com. I'm launching it on Friday. And you can find my book on amazon.com, okay. um, takealot.com, and our bookshop in Cromerville, Santon. Beautiful. So, yeah. Please get it translated into all of our languages all so it languages. can be accessed across Audio our books, country. everything. Lovely. Yeah. Audio books, yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> AJ Lagao, everybody, go out and get it. Yeah. We are lit. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. That's so savage. That's where we go next. On today, that's so savage. We scrolled through to a tour that took place on Twitter last week. Yes, it was between a TV and radio personality, Sizwa Lomo, a fan, and well, the rest of Black Twitter, Arasem Shumomo. This is how it started, guys. It all started when Usizwa tweeted about a supposed claim that Ufum star Will and Jada Pickett Smith were sleeping with other people. Mm, little did he know that this would be the beginning of hashtag Sizwa trending. <laughs> La, la, la. This then led to his fan asking him out on a date. Yes, ma'am, Shella on Twitter. Um, as strong in the insert, Usis were never expected it. He never expected Ushela. Utu Utina, this is her. She says, um, okay, how many RTs for a date? Okay. Thousand. Oh, that was Sizzle saying a thousand. Unganga didn't expect the response. He never expected Utina. He came back with this, Jongan. What Usis? Mission accomplished, Baba. I even have a parcela. Guys, she woke up at 8 o'clock in the morning. And then she was excited. It sizzled from his heart. Sizzle played along, perhaps thinking that the whole thing would blow over. Check this out. And what's this, Oti? Okay, cool. I'm a man of my word. Where do you stay? Where do you want to go? Oh, it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. The following tweet may be the reason why Twitter got mad. Because Otina and N seemed to have taken the date arrangement seriously. Oh... Time and location for tomorrow, please. This is Again, it's 9 a.m. Shame. Ow. Can't see when you need. I was joking. Oh, no. Oh, no. As this whole melodrama was playing out in front of everybody on Twitter, Tweeps then decided to launch an onslaught on Usizwa for leading this poor lady on. These are some of the tweets. Ha. I wish my name was Money Says Forex Traders and hashtag Sizwe. Same WhatsApp scam. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did that, hear that Forex trading tweet where he was like, our Forex traders are all scammers. They hire their cars to come and talk to you. They're not even real. Yeah, scammers. Right. Who's a scammer now? Oh, Brandy with good brows says hashtag Sizwe. It was inhumane of you to do that on our delicate sister. Guys, you're so serious on Twitter, really. Oh. Molefi says, does that mean Sizwe is doing its gigabyte stuff? What does that mean? I don't it's know. doing it big. What? Ooh. And then the last one, Google it, Charlie says, hashtag Sizwe, should at least consider paying for the girl's meal, okay? Guys, honestly, it's not that serious. Utina has since privatized her Twitter account. It's not that serious, Mr. Kai. And Usizo has apologized, but that did not save him as the debacle, the debacle continued throughout the week. Anyway, Usizo says, please don't mind the RTs when Atina, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you, but I just can't go out on a date with strangers. That's not me. My sincere apologies. Nah, nah, a lesson here when I see the Om Next time someone tries to shallow you on social media, just maybe decline the offer nicely or take things to DMs when I body. Guys, that brings us to the end of that. So savage. Didn't this happen to you, Nina? With oh. Sizwe? No. <laughs> <laughs> that someone asked you for a date? Oh, um, yes. And then I said 2,500 retweets oh, for lunch. Shabbat. And? And then the, they got 2,000, like they got like 3 1,500 <laughs> RTs, and then I was actually genuinely scared because femicide and woman protection rights, it's not safe, guys. It's so hectic. It's not safe. It's not safe. Someone said to me, how many tweets uh, for a date with you, Bobby? And mm. I said, all of them. All of them, Mela. Have you been, still waiting. been asked, Lala? I've never been asked out. No, I've never been no. asked out. No, come on. They just slip into your DMs, that's why. And we know your stories. Oh. Uh, okay, right. It's time to take a quick ad break. This is Trending SA on SABC3. Hi. 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 Hi.